My name is Gede Robi. I based in Ubud, Bali, Indonesia. I'm a musician. I found my band Navikula that been active in Indonesia music scene for 28 years already and also a proud farmer because it's the profession that I'm really passionate about. It's from my grandpa's, my dad, and now it's going to me. And then with Navikula, with my band, I combine music as something that I love so much and combine it with activism, something that I care so much. So I combine what I love and what I care, music and activism. House on fire You're in your air-conditioned room Can we try To change the comfort that we know Everything is gone before you know it But my hope goes on It was on the 90s so I really exposed to this alternative music, grunge music, genre like uh, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Nirvana, you know. I think I owe Nirvana because they make me want to play in a band. It's like uh, before I listen to any kind of music, I collecting like a glam hair metals, like uh, Los Angeles style. And when I saw the first time Nirvana appear on the TV, I said like, oh, I can make a band like that. In Bali, we have a philosophy called Trikaya Parisuda. Trikaya Parisuda, it means like uh, three things that have to be working together in parallel. It's, there is no contradiction between what you think, what you say, and what you do. Then it's become something that people easily affected because you walk the talk, because it's honest. Honest mean there is no contradiction about what you think, what you say, and what you do, right? It's like a walk the top. I give the credit to my parents, especially my dad and my grandfather, and also my mom for the artistic side, <laughs> because my mom was a dancer. But my father and my grandfather, they very strong growing up in the Bali traditional agriculture farmers. Yeah. When I asking money to my dad, it's like, Dad, I want money for, sometimes you teenagers, you want update the fashion or I want to I have an expensive hobby music is an expensive hobby and my father says like if you want all this money you go work with your grandpa in the holiday season because holiday season also harvesting time we, we grow coffee we grow vanilla we grow clove and so many annual fruits I have a shift paradigm shifting my paradigm like a, oh my god my grandpa living in the supermarket you can eat whatever and it's changed my hobby to my my perspective of what is the the good life the traditional life farmer they really eco-minded they don't think that human is the superior we can do whatever to the land no human is just we same same important as the the, the earthworm same important as the bacterial it's very humble we pray for the tree we we worshiping the the tree. But when I start to make my grunge band, Navikula, in 1996, when we start to make our new song, what topic that I uh, gonna put in the song, then always something that you love to write about, right? So I think the environmental issue is something that I choose. Uh, when we're talking about environmental issue, it's a very complex issue. Yeah? I mean, it's like uh, everything has uh, interconnection. I talking about deforestation, for example. Make a song about deforestation. Then I make a song about orangutans. You know, one of the icon, Indonesian icons, like uh, of the extinction animal that represent our biodiversity. Uh, but when we deep going to the deforestation issue, then we will hit a wall called corruption. <laughs> And any corruption will be leading into the conflict between, for example, between the investor and then the indigenous community. So I have to make a song, another song about how to stand uh, with the indigenous community for their land rights. 
uh, this massive destruction uh, is changing the natural forest into for example into a massive industry of palm oil or mining then i make song specific uh, specific issue about the 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 palm oil industry like a monoculture uh, agriculture that's not sustainable and then when we're talking about the mining which is actually uh, related to the dirty mining of coal for example for uh, dirty fuel then i'm making a song about the, the how polluted this dirty energy industry so when you're talking about environmental issue you can you cannot making one bullet for another so you have to making different topics which is actually connecting i believe like uh, music is such an underrated media yeah I mean, it's like nowadays the industry thinking that music is just very artificial, like only entertainment. But I don't believe that. I mean, I grew up in the, in, for example, like a Bali. All the philosophy uh, of the this like a deep understanding of uh, this, this this wisdom is actually is passed from the generation to generation through art, through architecture, through poem, music, like a, to to song, and this make it. The sustainability of this issue is, is can be cross the time and place. I believe like uh, we are as a human living in this planet, this is our playground. We got all the luxury in life, good food, nutritious food, and then uh, all this comfort. We, we got this prosperity uh, from the nature is not just about the materialistic thing yeah but also something that uh, uh, prime like food housing clothing uh, from the healthy condition and then balanced consist ecosystem condition so for me the prosperity is not just about the income the money is now is very very fragile yeah? But the, 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 the stable one, the essence one, is like we got clean air, we got clean water, we got variety of food. We got this all, this is all the luxury that we got from the nature. So we're not living, live alone in this playground. We share everything. No one can own a water. We just using it and then make sure that other people also have the same quality that we had. We share this air. I mean, it's like a, this. When you have this idea of the, we're not alone and we share, everybody need each other. Then automatically, the ideology of the social justice will be start from the mind, right? We want our future generation also enjoy the same luxury like we did. So then automatically we we're gonna thinking making everything sustainable. Then it's care for the future. So these all three care for the nature, care for the people and care for the future. The the concept of Navicula is actually we are a sonic messenger or audio postman <laughs> like a deliver the message. And also my perspective to see what is an artist uh, actually our art, artists we don't we don't create anything so me what our inspiration is the nature right the nature and then we are an artist we just a mirror uh, a satellite uh, a reflector so we don't create that we just take it from nature and then reflect that back to the world so actually we are happy why my is about the nature because it's my inspiration and then more we open ourselves more we can reflect actually our generation is destroying the planet it's a lot of me also part of this generation this lifestyle so my responsibility to my kid is like a hey kid at least i try my best i i do my best i don't know it's fail or or success i don't know it's my responsibility uh, it's something that i can be see her eyes that's I did my best you know this is so long